Good morning everybody. Look at this. It's um oh gosh, look at the sparkling. Have to sort that out. Um it's very cold. Snow's coming down, it's expected to last this weather now for well, I don't know, for how long a week at least. Um Madam's just come down. I don't think Tom's around. I've um in addition to their wet food, their dry food, I've put some wet food out. Harriet seems to like to nibble at it now and again. So there's her as in a pink bowl. Tom has a little bit more because he's a, an outdoor cat and he needs his energy and gets to keep warm. Oh. Tom is a dare darling because um, I've just called him and he hasn't come out. So uh, I'm going to put his food inside his big house. That's no problem, and um, right at the front of it, and he can get past it to get to the back. And let me do this with Tom. Oh, it's early as well. Mind I don't go a cropper, which um, could be very nasty. <laughs> Are you there, mister? Or have you gone to your real home? Mm -hmm. Deserted me. Yeah, so if I put it in there and push the straw back like I have, that'll keep dry. So this is going through. You know, sleep all nice and dry there, but I need to get the broom and sweep all the snow off. Do that first bit now. And do the rest later. Could you, you? You've not seen snow before, have you? Hey, you've not seen it before. It's the same colour as you. I've said that given to the given today's um, political correctness brigade. <laughs> yeah, I've got some of this out the way. Over where his food is. You book up. Do you know, it, it just use this tent as a campsite because he, um, he likes to get under the top and just sit. Sorry, Tom. Best I can do, darling. You can get into your houses, you can get your food. So, that's her now. And I'll come out later and do the rest. Let's take it upstairs. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> The farmers, all the farmers, are going to um, protest in London today about Starmer and his tax intentions, or Rachel Reed's tax intentions, taking you know great big chunks of money from them with death duties, etc. And it's ironic, isn't it? You know, when um, Bill Gates is buying up all the farmland in America <laughs> as much as he can, um, if nobody sees the intention, what the intention is, it's to um, depopulate. It's to starve people. It's to see people lose their lives through um, 
everything else that's going on. And um, we've got a pretty uh, dire situation here in the UK. Very dire situation, in fact. Um, I wouldn't go out without something in my bag to protect myself, let's just say it that way. And then if I, if I was attacked, as I have been before, um, the chances are that for protecting myself, I'd be the one who was arrested. It's a crazy world. And I was threatened for that once before when uh, somebody was trying to nick my son's car and I ran out and it was, it was absolutely a knee-jerk reaction. There was a mirror on the um, shelf in the hallway and I grabbed the mirror and the copper was more interested than what I would have done with that mirror. He said, would you admit me? I said, yeah, I would. He said, well, you'd have been in jail. Count, count yourself lucky. You'd have been in jail. So you can't protect your property. You can't protect your family. It's a nonsense. And I don't care if they put me in jail. They can do what they like. I post what I like. Here, there and everywhere. I investigate what I post so that I know it's in factual. So what can they do me for? Hello, my darling. I bet your little bum's going to get cold very quickly up there and you'll be in. I think Mr Tom's gone through to your home. Harriet, I'm not leaving the store out neither all morning like I usually do. Well, I'll leave it open actually for um, up until about three o'clock. So, uh, she has hours and hours out there. In and out of there, I should say. Come and get your breakfast. Come on. Look. And she's got the little bit of dry food. Oh, excuse me. Little bit of dry food upstairs. What's wrong with me? Food upstairs. Now, what I bought are these. Both of those there are cap mats, the heating cap mats, because I, I don't want to run out. Um, if I'm, I've washed Tom's one on there, and his blanket, um, for his greenhouse. But um, I've got two more, one for Harriet, one for Tom, that are going to, uh, you know, just in case. <laughs> and they've also got, I've also got another couple, so... And what I bought are these. They're emergency blankets. They're Mylar emergency blankets. And I've got, how many have I got them? I can't, I can't remember what was in the pack. 12, there's 12 in there. Sorry. So um, the Mylar emergency blankets and I checked about uh, what I could do to ensure that his house is, um, do stay, stay warm for him. So they've suggested, suggested that putting one of these underneath the straw, which I'm going to do later, and one of them can go in the greenhouse that he likes. Uh, on top of the, on between the uh, bath mat thing and his reflective heat blanket, so it's going to be lovely and warm. Um, you're not staying out there? No, 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 no. Mummy's going to do a cup of tea now. She's a little what's it? She, she um, <laughs> she'll, <laughs> she won't, <laughs> she won't come in. She gets me to chase her of an afternoon to get her in. She, she knows her routine, what she does. She gets in that tunnel and then I have to sort of edge it upside down and she likes that and then she'll run in. You're not staying there. You're going to catch a cold. So I'll catch you all later, everybody. I'm going to go make a cup of I'm frozen.